Brilliant. Revolutionary. Genius. He was genius. I don't think even he imagined the far-reaching consequences of what he created. A visionary far ahead of his time and the brilliant mind behind over 800 patents and inventions, one man was on a mission to change the world. He became an inspiration to nations worldwide in the names of innovation and discovery when he found fault with Thomas Edison's direct current system and chose to devise his own alternative. His new power system would become one of the greatest achievements of the 20th century, ushering in the era of electricity. Nikola Tesla Appropriately titled The Wizard of Menlo Park, Thomas Edison was a prolific inventor and businessman, rivaling the brilliance of Tesla. Taking notice to the hazards and inefficiencies of the gas-powered lamps and lines used to light homes, Edison developed the direct current power system. The DC power system transferred energy in one direction, utilizing a flow of charged particles which moved from a positive to a negative terminal. With this technology, Edison founded the Edison Illuminating Company on December 17, 1880. On September 4, the Pearl Street Electrical Power Distribution Center went online, providing 110 volts of direct current to 59 customers in Lower Manhattan. While the DC system had a bright beginning, the glaring problems overshadowed further progress. Edison's light bulb optimally performed on 120 volts, the capable output of his generators. Adding additional customers upon the power lines resulted in a reduction in voltage, in turn decreasing the performance. Voltage drop prevented the DC power system from supplying electricity farther than two miles away. With the demand for electricity rising and the practicality for direct current power falling, the world needed an alternative. Born and raised in modern-day Croatia, Nikola Tesla flashed into existence during a thunderstorm on July 10, 1856. Pursuing electrical engineering at Austrian Polytechnic College, Tesla achieved the highest marks of his class. He astounded his superiors by working 20 hours a day and performing calculus mentally. One particular lecture demonstration sparked Tesla's interest in electricity. During a physics lecture, the demonstration of the effects of direct current was cut short when the motor suddenly malfunctioned due to a defective commutator brush. Intrigued, Tesla studied the design for weeks, noticing numerous inefficiencies with the motor design. While walking in the park with a friend, Tesla envisioned the groundbreaking design for what would later be known as the induction motor, and proceeded to draw it out on the dirt. This motor operated an alternating current, with charged particles oscillating their direction 50 to 60 times per second. He presented the schematic to his professor Jacob Poschel, but was immediately rebuked with the statement, Mr. Tesla may accomplish great things, but he will never do this. Little did either of them know, the AC induction motor young Tesla had invented would become the global standard used in everything from household appliances to industrial plants. The AC induction motor was one of those major inventions that allowed us to create mechanical uh, motion from electricity just about anywhere and in an incredibly reliable, robust manner. The AC induction motor even today is considered to be one of the most robust machines out there just because with very little maintenance, with very little uh, attention, it keeps working. Tesla was determined to continue his work, not chastened by these harsh words. Soon, he had designed an entire alternating current system, meaning to replace the existing DC network. Shortly before graduating, Nikola Tesla emigrated to work for Thomas Edison in 1884. Nikola Tesla arrived in New York on June 6th with nothing more than a letter of recommendation from his former employer, Charles Batchelor. Bachelor wrote, I know of two great men in this world. You are one, the other is this young man. With optimism in his heart and innovation on his mind, Tesla went to Edison with the ulterior motive of discussing the alternating current system he had created, a design Tesla knew would revolutionize the field of electricity. After a few weeks on the job, Tesla insisted that he could increase the efficiency of Edison's dynamos, eventually receiving Edison's consent with the promise of receiving $50,000 if he succeeded. Tesla worked tirelessly to make the revision and eventually completed the design. When Tesla brought up the promise of reward, Edison responded, When you become a full-fledged American, you will appreciate an American joke. As a consolation, Edison offered a $10 per week raise. Ever prideful, Tesla quit and spent the next year working odd jobs to fund his inventions and patents.
Tesla's work digging ditches in close proximity to power lines allowed him to see the flaws of Edison's DC power system up close. In some places, he noticed that the DC power lines blocked out the sun. If you want to transport DC electricity over a long distance, uh, you have lots of losses. Uh, the advantage of AC is that you can increase the voltage, therefore reduce the current and reduce the losses. So in the long run, AC was much more efficient and much more economical way of uh, generating, transporting and distributing electrical energy. Meanwhile, George Westinghouse, a fellow alternating current enthusiast, had stumbled upon Tesla's induction motors. Westinghouse, an inventor, entrepreneur, and engineer who had been feuding with Edison for years, possessed the wealth necessary to make Tesla's dreams into reality. Tesla proceeded to sell his patents to George Westinghouse. He received $25,000 in cash, $50,000 in notes, and a royalty of $2.50 for each motor. Tesla was the owner of a small fortune. 1886 marked the creation of the Tesla Electrical and Light Manufacturing Company, a joint venture of Westinghouse and Tesla. Tesla's company proceeded to patent many inventions, with the more notable being AC generators, transformers, light bulbs, and exceedingly powerful AC motors. Edison was quick to learn about the Tesla Electric Company and saw it as a threat to his business, sparking a period known as the War of Currents. In an effort to stifle public excitement with the advantages alternating current offered, Edison did everything in his power to prove that alternating current was dangerous. Beginning with the electrocution of animals, Edison moved on to executing criminals using the AC power system. He was showing that the high voltage is dangerous, and he used it to execute animals, he used it. He's actually convinced the New York uh, state to use the electric chair and every time they execute an inmate, he would come out and he said that that person was Westinghouse. In 1892, a merger was struck between the Edison Illuminating Company and the Thompson Houston Electric Company, forming General Electrics, or GE. All the while, the Chicago Columbus World Exposition was looming dangerously close, with both Tesla and Edison vying for control over the fair's electricity. The winner would no doubt prevail in the electrical industry. The fair, known as White City, was projected to use over 120,000 electric light bulbs, a true demonstration of the chosen power system. GE had proposed to power the fair with a direct current at the exorbitant cost of $1.8 million. Westinghouse proposed to illuminate the entire world's exposition for $400,000, utilizing Tesla's AC system. On May 1, 1893, President Grover Cleveland pushed a button and over 100,000 incandescent lamps illuminated the dark fairgrounds. The AC power system bid one, with Tesla's design being chosen due to the lower cost. Nikola Tesla's innovative grid electrified onlookers gazed in awe. Indisputably, this was the beginning of a new era. The electrical grid has been rated as one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century. So given that, just about everything we take for granted, the computers we use, the lights and fans and furnaces and everything that work in our homes, the ability to manufacture things so cheaply and everything, all of that happens because electrical energy is available, it's available cheaply, and it's available ubiquitously. The era of electrification began as Tesla's alternating current spread worldwide. He made possible what Edison could not, Truly accessible electric lights now replaced gas lamps everywhere. From the streets of Hollywood to the villages of India, buildings glowed as a testament to Tesla's innovations. We have been able to send man to the moon, to the depths of the ocean, and everywhere in between. The common luxuries of today, the radio, television, computers, and internet as we know them could not have been achieved with such efficiency without the AC system. Nikola Tesla provided the spark in science truly igniting a turning point in history that has made the modern world possible. Were we to eliminate from our industrial world the result of Tesla's work, the wheels of industry would cease to turn, and our electric trains and cars would stop. Our towns would be dark, our mills and factories dead and idle. So far-reaching is his work that it has become the warp and woof of industry.